Welcome to Living Your Best Life podcast with me, Theo. And on a Tuesday, we focus on mindset. Why is mindset important? Our mindset is important because we live our lives according to our thoughts. And if we think negative, we become negative. If we think positive, we become positive. But the reality is that we live in environments where we cannot control those environments, be it at work, be it at home, wherever you go, you you step into environments where your outer environment influences your thinking and your thoughts. And Bruce Lipton, a cell biologist, made such a profound statement. He said that your mind is like a pharmacist, like a chemist that dispenses chemicals and medication to the body when it detects And it perceives either fear taking place in your environment or it perceives love taking place in your environment. Well, if it perceives fear, the stress hormones get activated and now it dispenses chemicals to your body. And that's why your body either reacts in a fight or flight mode. Well, we've added another category, freeze. So sometimes when we're in a stressful environment, we get a panic attack. And instead of facing it or instead of going for help, we are stuck in a rut. We are freezing because we are just um, consumed with that moment or with whatever trauma is taking place in your environment. And why is it relevant? It's relevant because we must understand that our environment plays such an important role in our lives. And if we don't create our environment according to our values and according to the way we want our lives to turn out, and that is you dictating your environment, you saying, these are the people that I want in my circle. These are the places that I'm going to go to that's going to inspire me. These are the pursuits that I'm going to follow in my life that's going to inspire me and cause me to become the best version of myself. If we don't intentionally make those decisions, we are going to be consumed with our environment, our negative environment with negative people that's going to influence your thinking and you become like the people you hang out with. And simultaneously, it's true as well, if you are, if your mind is perceiving love in your environment and now it dispenses chemicals as well to your body and now your body can self-heal. Your body is in a beautiful state where it consumes love. Like many of you that falls in love, you're never sick. But how many of you, when you are in a constant stressful environment, your body gets in a state of dis-ease, which we, which the word comes from disease. And therefore, my encouragement for you and for us today is that protect this thing. Protect your mind to the point where you dictate in your life who and what and where you are going and what you're busy with and with who you're hanging out, that those environmental factors contribute and it assists and it enhances your goals. It enhances the life that you want to live. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you today. And I hope that you will make the decisions that's going to be best for you because you cannot can no longer point fingers at people. That's victim mentality. You need to become the creator and the leader of your life. And with the empowerment that you have received, you know, through understanding God's love in your life, you are able to now make the right decisions. I'm Theo, and I love you.